with the new head coach, Mahanoy area grad Mike Rhodes, 28-22 Eyewitness Sports. Nick's alive, is currently live at Penn State Scranton's annual chapter dinner with the new head coach. Nick, how is it over there? Yeah, thanks, Brett. Nearly 500 here at Fiorelli's, and I'm here with Coach Rhodes. After seven years at VCU, he comes back to Pennsylvania to join Penn State men's basketball. Thanks for taking some time to chat, Coach. And how good, how well does it feel, you know, to come back to Pennsylvania and coach at Penn State? It's just really neat. It really is to, to, to meet so many people. There's a lot of people here I know in, in the basketball world, and they're here tonight. And to represent Penn State around so many people that love Penn State and, and love what it's all about, what it stands for, special night. I'm really glad I'm here. And you won a high school state championship here in Pennsylvania, Lebanon Valley in college at the D3. Do you have a spe specific memory from Lebanon Valley, that championship team? Yeah, well, my teammates, they're my best friends in the world to this day. Uh, just, uh, you know, being able to share those special moments. You forget about the games, you forget the stats, the score, but you remember the relationships you have. And that night in Buffalo when we won the national championship is something you uh, and now as a coach, you keep you, you keep fighting for and keep keep going after, keep striving for. So special teammates uh, led to a special season. Focusing on this upcoming season, you go from the A-10 at VCU to the Big Ten. Do you have any personal goals to succeed in a very competitive Big Ten conference? Yeah, win, win. Uh, I, I said it in my press conference, and I'm say it to all our guys. We, we came here to win. We came here to build something really cool and make it special. But. Don't be afraid to be Penn State basketball, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna play really hard. We're gonna be fast. We're gonna be really aggressive, but we're gonna be bold in our approach. And it's not being cocky. It's just being being sure who we are and and, and being excited to play college basketball at Penn State. And but we're we're here to try to win. And that's what we want to do. I know you'll have some high expectations for your team this season. A team that when you were hired, two players uh, yeah. on the roster, and you've completely changed that thanks to. The transfer portal, bring guys from VCU, yourself, Baldwin, and Kern. You bring a couple guys from UNC, Georgetown. What kind of identity are you trying to build with this Penn State team, bringing in all these transfers? Yeah, well, we, we needed to get depth, uh, without a doubt. I, I was hoping we got good balance out of classes, and we did that. But it, very important to me to get, get depth so we could play fast and be really aggressive, and we've done that. Uh, my staff did a he heck of a job here in 65 days of going out and getting 10 players. And we got the guys we wanted, but you know Leo O'Boyle here from from hometown, right, uh, right, right in our backyard here. Uh, he's going to come help us and make a lot of shots for us and bring us a level of of toughness that we need. And we got some other guys that have been successful in college basketball and and coming to Penn State now that you know to, to help us move this program forward. But we're going to build it from from the inside out with a lot of hard work. Basketball season just a few months away. Coach Rhodes, I know you're pumped to get started once September and October rolls around. Brett, back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Nick. The Penn State basketball schedule will come out in the next upcoming months. Now we also have some stickball going on. Second round of the PIAA.